Hello everyone, I am Vikram P. Maduri here. I am an SAP architect and in this session we are going to discuss a couple of questions on SAP ABAP interactive list reports and this would be for a preparation of interview as well for the for the for the future projects of you or uh, if you are doing if you're already working on SAP ABAP. Okay, so what is the significance of a stack list? The secondary list is also called the stack list and it will be shown on the entire screen. If we don't write its coordinates, uh, it, its coordinates of the command window. When it's the right time to utilize the command get cursor in interactive lists. The command get cursor will be utilized when the hidden information is not enough for tracing the selected line. This command will give us the field name where the cursor is positioned in field that will be specified subsequently to the addition field. So the selected field value will be in a field specified subsequently to the value. So uh, maybe we can understand this in a better way uh, for uh, uh, in, in a particular scenario where, where exactly we have an uh, interactive list wherein uh, like for example if you would like to hide something and uh, you you normally use the hide statement and also if at all if you would like to go for a, a, a particular cursor position uh, in that field will be specified so, so uh, for that subsequent uh, data will have the additional data that's what we have uh, in a uh, that is what we use we use the command get cursor for now do we how do we keep lists the written from a high level in the list on the immediate lower position that is SYLSIND is made by using back from the secondary list. In this way the actual list that is displayed will disappear and we will see the previously made list. So the list that disappeared was released by the system and deleted. So this SYLSIND field must be configured for indicating the list level at which we want the output to be. So just the index values that are the same with the levels of the list are accepted by the system and the list levels that have a higher index than the one we indicate or equal equal with it will be erased by the system. So for instance, when we configure SYLSIND to be zero, every secondary list will be erased by the system and the basic list will be replaced by the actual secondary list. So this is what, this is what we can do it dynamically. So what is the meaning of second list? The second list that uh, lists the details from the basic list can be improved. And if, for instance, we want to choose a line from the basic list and we want more details about it to be displayed, we can do it. The secondary information will be shown on the secondary list, which can be as an overlay of the basic list or it can appear in a separate window and the secondary list can be dynamically dynamical as well dynamical in the sense like you can have you can choose to have uh, multiple secondary lists uh, based on the selection that we have in the basic clicks for example you click on a menu you get a different list and if you get on a if you click on a screen you'll get a different list something like that so what is an interactive report with the use of interactive reporting we can be present in an active mode at the data presentation in a session Actually, interactive reporting generates a simple list that encapsulates the details. It can be extended and we can see the details with the aid of the cursor or commands. Interactive report lowers the amount to retrieve data details to the re real requirement of data. So which are the event keywords used in the interactive reporting? At line selection, this is a time when we choose a line with a double click on the line or by moving the cursor over the line and hitting the F2 command. At, at user command is also used. At user command, this is a time when we hit a function key. Uh, that, for example, you have a, a push button on the menu painter in application keys. Then you can click on it and something has to happen. It, it should be written at the, the logic should be written at the at user command. And then we have the top of page during line selection. This is uh, this is when while we while the list is processing a secondary list, a new page is starting. And at the time, so top of page is basically top of page during line selection is basically used for getting the uh, getting the top of page for the secondary list. So these are the E3 events. I repeat at line selection, at user command, and top of page during line selection. So is it possible to invoke transactions or reports from the interactive reporting list? Yes, it is possible because the interactive reporting we can we can uh, 
re-invoke transactions or different reports from the lists. In this way, the programs will use the values that are shown in the list as their input for information. As an example, a transaction can be invoked from a list that, that the database table that shows its data in the list can be modified. So how can we make user interfaces for a list? A graphical user interface or a GUI is made automatically if we have a list with simple functions regarding list processing like a list printing or saving. The GUI is made by the R3 system for, for more complicated functions like push buttons. For example, we have to define our personal interfaces status and for making a new status, we have the menu painter from the development workbench as well. So in this way, we can generate toolbars or menus from the programs. We can also put the shortcut keys from the various uh, functions. When the statement block at the end of uh, at end of the at end of selection is started, is started, the status of the main list can be enabled with the set pf status uh, statement. So what page headers do in the secondary list have? So there is no standard page heading regarding a uh, secondary list and also there is no even top of page triggered by the system. So for making page headers for secondary list, we have to improve the top of page. So when, when we use top of page during line selection, this event will be invoked for every secondary list. When we want to make separate page headers for each specific list, le list level, this processing block corresponding to the event has to be configured. For this, like for instance, when we use SYLSIND system fill and S, uh, system uh, uh, PF key. Which is the best way to choose valid lines of, uh, for a secondary list? So there are many ways for us to avoid the use of invalid lines in the ABAP by 4 like the ones below. So when the processing block end of selection finishes, we have to erase the field content that, he, that we deposited in the past for valid lines with the aid of the hide statement so we must verify if the workplaces in the workplace in the default one are or if the hide statement deposited the content of the field in this place this is done when the at line selection event occurs we can make a secondary list because we deposited the content of the field just for valid lines we have to clean the workplace one more time for avoiding the creation of other secondary lists for the user starting from the secondary list on the screen. When we make a new list, is it true that the main list will be erased? No, it will not be erased. So the main list will not be erased and we can access it with the aid of the standard navigation functions such as back or cancel buttons. So in, in what way should we transfer data from a list to a report? In ABAP before, the, this can be made in three ways by fetching the data with the aid of statements, by making an automated data transfer with the aid of the system fields, by transferring the attributes of the list. Which is the standard construction of an ABAP application? What is the standard construction? So the basic construction of a ABAP program is made up of these, these steps. The reports are defined. The data and the tables are defined. The events are initialized. We have the screen select options and inputs in place. The selection screen events, the start of selection events, performs and events statements, the end of selection event and the initialization. So what is the significance of hotspots? The list place that makes our mouse pointer looking like an upright hand is called a hotspot. So when hotspot is active, single clicking, single clicks uh, in is equivalent to double click. So this feature is compatible with versions above 3.0 C and above, above for all the R3 applications. So uh, since we are using it from ECC, so uh, it, it, it should be working for uh, all, all the systems. So what is the system field that has the name of the actual GUI status? So the system field is SYPF key contains the actual GUI status name. What is the meaning of reporting transaction and how are programs called? The reports in a BAP can be called like transactions. For calling and returning submit and return call transaction. For calling and re not returning submit leave to transaction. 
So what is that way? Submit and return to call transaction and submit leave to transaction. These are the two things that we have. When we make an extensive application and we, we make one program, it will be very complicated. And for reading the program in a simple way, it is recommended to split the functions needed among the programs. So what is the meaning of form event? Form events is just like a perform subroutine. Uh, it's, it starts by a form and finishes by end form and the statement from end form to the finish of the application are not processed at all. So every every statement from end form to the event uh, keyword will not be processed at all. So how do we de describe start of selection and end of selection? The start and the finish of a main processing logic, which is default for every ABAP for application, the statements from uh, from start of selection to end of selection are executed automatically. There is no requirement for having end of selection. So every procedural statement in ABAP by four applications are dependent by default on the start of selection event. So how do we transfer data by program statements? So for transferring single output fields or supplementary details from de supplementary details from supplementary details from lines to the processing blocks in the in the in the time of interactive events the following statements will be written hide read line get cursor get cursor and others uh, others kind of thing so i mean like uh, so we can transfer the data by program statements so these are like hide read line get cursor set cursor now what system fields do we use for interactive reporting the index of the actual list is found in the system uh, field SYLSND. At the time of making the main list, SYLSND is zero. The system field below are configured automatically by the system at every interactive event. The system field information is like SYLS LINCT, the whole line shop line number of a list, SYLINNO, the number of lines where the cursor is found, SYLSND is the index of the presently made list. In the in the time of the actual event is zero by default it's zero so when you click on the first screen it becomes by one so sy listi is the index of the level that invoked the event sy li lli lily is the line number that invoked the event sy li sel represents the content of the line that invoked the event sy curow represents the place in the window that the line which invoked the event has has done beginning from one mm -hmm. so sycucol is the place in the window where the column that invoked the event is found so beginning from two so syucom represents the function code which invoked the event so sypfky has the actual list status as well and how do we describe the hide area with the aid of the hide command, we can deploy the field content from actual lines in a place that is named with the, named the hide area. This place uh, system controlled memory and the field content will be moved from the hide area when the interactive event occurs. So if we invoke a secondary list from the hide area, the values that are, that were deposited will be mode in the program variables so when we write the program we have to use the height statement in the in the present line after after we use the write statement so what is the usage of get cursor and set cursor this is a very important uh, question which has been repeatedly asked in many of the interviews get cursor get cursor line and get cursor field are statements that we use to transfer an output field and an output line where wherein the time of the interactive event the cursor was placed example of syntax get cursor field offset line and value length so set cursor is a statement used to set the cursor the latest list made which we can we which uh, when we make a basic or main list the latest will be exactly this one the basic list so the basic list will become previous when we make a secondary list. So the set cursor statement also places the cursor on the column that is on the output windows line. 
so this is about uh, uh, get cursor and set cursor and we can understand this better by doing some examples on this uh, set cursor and get cursor so i i prefer certain things have to be understood on the system in the program to to make it more better in the definition so some definitions will be clear in this way so thanks for watching this video i'll continue in the next video